Hello everyone. This is Fright Express 1993. And um as you see I got the Toshiba L15 S ten oh oh four as you see. Let me show you the model number. Yep. It's the S one oh four. I was saying ten oh four. But as you see, I got a new charger for it, and I've done some upgrades on it, as you see. And if you're wondering why my screen, the screen is like this for the camera, I changed it. Cause I'm trying to see if it ain't gonna use up all the room on this memory card. I'm gonna, go ahead and gonna boot it up the laptop. And yes, I got all the drivers installed and stuff. And it's still got the one gigahertz. Intel Celeron processor. And as you see, it's booting up XP. Yeah, when I got this computer, it had 768 megabytes of RAM, but I took the um, 256 stick out and bought, got a 512 stick to put in it. So now I got like 1 gig of RAM. Of the type of RAM this computer takes is DDR1, and each socket can hold 512 each. So the, so the maximum amount could be one gigabyte of RAM, but it uses like a few meg megabytes so the so the video memory. Sorry for trying to stutter. I'm go ahead and log on. As you see, I got the classic login. And to be honest, I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the hard drive information and the hard drive is a 120 gigabyte western digital and it has 5400 rpm and this laptop runs pretty good as you see it's able to handle YouTube it's able to handle going on the web and Facebook and all the other websites it could do like all what you need it can handle office 2010 and as you see, the keyboard has a couple of worn marks on them. Here's the hard drive's space capacity. In Windows, somehow it says 111, but it's actually a 120 gigabyte in the zoom in. Show you how much space it's using. I'm gonna show you the RAM it has. I'm gonna do it from right here. You can go to properties. And it's currently running Windows XP with Service Pack 3. And it has XP Professional. And it has 1 gig of RAM. And actually this is a reinstallation of XP on a different hard drive as you may notice. I got a bunch of programs. Yeah, and the keyboard sometimes get hard to type because it's worn. There's all the programs I got installed. I even got Camtasia Studio 6. I got Windows Media Player 11, Internet Explorer 8, Microsoft Virtual PC 2007, Windows Live Essentials, I got Skype, Avast Antivirus, I got the Logitech drivers for my webcam, Logitech webcam. I got Sea Cleaner and all the not all the good stuff and even Office 2010. I just see Office 2010 Professional. And I even got Internet Explorer 8 and I got the current version of Firefox. I think it's 7.0.1. Yep. Show you I got the current version right here as you see. Oh, in fact, I could zoom in. Trying to get a bunch of glare into the screen so y'all can be able to see it easily. And here's all the other programs as you see on the notification bar, which we all know what the notification bar is. And it's able to connect to Wi-Fi with no problem. It uses, it's able to support WPA2 security encryption. And as you see, this is kind of worn, the little touchpad. There's a big worn marks on the keyboard, if you can see them that well. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys later. I was just letting you know how I got the upgrades put into this Toshiba's laptop. So, see ya.